Hey everyone, um, I'm going to make this video really quick. Um, I recently just acquired a used lap dock for my Atrix for about $70, but without a charger. Um, it, the guy did charge it uh, before he sold it. And I found a charger on eBay for about, uh, I think it was like $8. Uh, you just have to make sure, like, the, what is it, uh, it's a 30 watt, 19 volt charger, like medium barrel style. And a few of the questions I've been having um, were, or, or for myself actually, were what, what custom ROMs could I use uh, with a lap dock? Because of course a lot of custom ROMs, they remove a lot of the uh, Motorola stuff. And some cases that does include the uh, lap dock uh, software. So um, I guess because I really don't have much of an issue at all with um, the Moto Blur, I just wanted to install a uh, the Fox's custom kernel. So I'll show you here. Uh, let's see if you can focus. There. So I just have the. The custom kernel, it's running at 1.3 gigahertz, um, and it is to stock Android 236. I had to uh, upgrade the kernel anyway because after I unlocked the bootloader, the, uh, like the I had a RAM issue and it was like saying like I had like 99 megabytes of RAM. So of course when you flash a custom ROM, it fixes it, and I guess the same thing for the kernel. So just to show you now. Um, that everything does work. Let me see if I can. Uh, so let's see if can... so, 1300 is the max. I have it set to uh, 1000 right now. And I'm going to. There, so that's in. The light's on. Um, I am like below 10% right now, but not an issue. So to show, um, even with the custom kernel, the HDMI mirroring is still functional. So everything still works. Uh, any questions? Uh, ask me, and I'll uh, do my best to troubleshoot. Because I really, I'm not too concerned if I do anything. If I break the phone, I'm sure I can recover it. But if you have any uh, questions, I'll uh, do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.